Hello YouTube. I was trying to get the height right to see to to, to best not have bags. I mean they they're not too bad at the moment. I think um maybe too much sleep is something to do with it. Sleeping too long. I don't know. Water retention. Whatever. Anyway. So um making this video it is the 19th of April 2018 and I don't know of anything in particular that may have happened yesterday but last night going to bed something felt different like a shadow had been lifted and this morning again it was different Oh yeah, I haven't seen any chemtrails yet. Anyway, so yeah, I'm just wondering if something has shifted, something has um, has changed. And what I think it might be is this. Now, I'm, I should have checked my facts on this, but last year they accused Syria of a chemical attack, didn't they? Was it a year ago? I am going to have to check my facts, I should have checked my facts. And then, you know, what this is all about is how, like, we won't hear stuff on the media, and it's forgotten. So, yesterday, the inspectors were supposed to go and check Duma in Syria, and heard nothing on the news whatsoever. In fact, there hasn't been anything on the news about Syria for a couple of days because they've been going on about something else these uh, J Jamaicans and Indians who came over before 1971 to England and all their proof of immigration were destroyed and it just happened to come out at this particular time so that's all they've been talking about and they haven't been talking about Syria or the Russians or that chemical attack. So they're, they're looking to bury it basically. Obviously they will probably bring it up again. We don't know, there may be things that come out that come out about it again. But, so my suspicion is that the, the ruling elite serves some or have been serving some evil entity, say evil, something, you know, who wasn't working for good. And it it left it had left them some time ago. And my theory is that they they're trying to call it back by doing the things that it used to like them to do. So bloodshed, killing. And I almost feel like they then create these other events to to get people not thinking about what they did. And I think maybe Grenfell Tower is one of them. And then this time <coughs> the other one which must have been planned from about seven or eight years ago. to put people through, the, put the Jamaicans and Indians who, who were living here through some real torment, you know, because, the, you know, that's how they've been treating us cattle, in a sense. We're just pawns, you know, we're just there to be played with, and, and that's what I think. And I think what's, what's gone, what's, they've realised now that, they don't they don't have the help of this entity they were uh, serving before and it's kind of lifted the, a shroud from the earth that's what I think yeah. so 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to check my facts. If there was a, if the Grenfell Tower was to sort of, what what did end up ha covering up some something like an attack in Syria. I'll have to check. But anyway, that that's how I feel they work. You know, that's how they manipulate us. Because they always choose the news agenda. You know, people will. You know, I'll get views on the my video about the Skripals poisoning when when they're talking about it on the news, and you know, you you've got things like Question Time, which is supposed to be questions from the audience, but obviously the audience will submit questions and they'll pick from them, and they'll have enough to be able to pick to keep with their agenda, and the things they want to stay off, they'll stay off. And they won't get discussed and you can make a video on it but people aren't looking for it so then you know only a few people will see it probably those who are already converted anyway so but things are changing a quick update on things um, I've I've tried to make an appointment with my MP because I have said before, you know, that's probably what else could I do if I'm feeling like yeah, I want to get a message to the world or whatever, the leaders go to the MP, so I'm trying that um, I got a tweet of mine read out on BBC's Any Answers, that was a result so yeah, I do do tweets um, I should put a link in the description because um, I'm not writing down notes anymore so if there's something that I really like I'll uh, do a tweet um, yeah for me personally I'm I'm doing good um, I'm still adjusting to having now the understanding that there is the one love and there is Mother and Father God who is also sustained with the One Love. We're all sustained with the One Love. And I feel like God has been leading me to, to understand this. And then it's like, you know, now you can, uh, what should we say, use the One Love, you know, employ the One Love, you know, live symbiotically with it, you know, because obviously... You know, the one love is, it's not like someone you can manipulate, get them to do what you want to do, right? So, learn to live symbiotically with the one love. That's what God wants me to do, just as I would want my son to grow up and be independent. So, although we'll always be in God and always attached to God, we won't always be, oh God, help me with this, oh God, help me with that, because we'll be learning to live symbiotically with the one love and and that's that's the next step so that'll do I think um, just say all all is going well all is as it should be remember anything that has happened is part of God's plan it's the way it should be Oh yeah, and I heard about these frazzled cafes, and that's a, a sign that society is is now accepting healing, and people's mental health is crucial. So these frazzled cafes, I think it's frazzled.org, Ruby Wax is doing it, uh, for people just to go and kind of, you know, people are being honest about you know, repetitive dreams they're having and their mental stability and how they cope and you know, it's just a problem shared is a problem halved and it's always a good thing to do and you know, and you also hear that other people are going through stuff just like you are so, you know, it kind of helps and obviously then that will that will grow into, well let's do something about this, let's change society so that so that we can 
you know, so that we don't have to do stuff we don't want to do. Yeah? Yes. So it's coming. Feeling those waves. Mm. I think the waves is, um, you know, other people's souls are, you know, someone connects with God and boom, that creates a, a, a wave and a ripple and their reality is changed. Good. Right? I'm going to get on. <laughs> Ciao.